In today's video, I'm going to tell you the story about how I brought Gonzo into Disneyland. Welcome back to Justin Talks Puppets, where we talk about reviews, comedy, and nostalgia. If that sounds like your cup of tea, then feel free to hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out on more awesome puppet content just like this. Just want to throw out a disclaimer, I do not own the rights to Gonzo, I do not own the rights to any of the Muppets, and I'm not affiliated in any way with the Henson Company, Puppet slash Disney Company. I do not speak for the brand or the company as well. So I ended up receiving Gonzo as a birthday gift for I believe either my 11th or 12th birthday, either one of those ages. This Gonzo is a photo master replica, which means that a lot of the times when the Muppets go and they would do these like photo shoots of these posters and you see them all like posing and stuff like that, Master Replica had a deal with the Muppets where they were able to release these limited edition, one-of-a-kind Muppet life-size statues. And unfortunately, with this being a puppet, it wasn't actually a puppet. You could only pose them. And don't get me wrong, that is the coolest thing ever to have. And especially because these guys are hard to find, and they only made several, and they only made several characters. That including Kermit, Animal, and Gonzo. There were leaked pictures online of a Fozzy that was supposed to be made, and a Rizzo, but they never ever got released or made. And although I'm super grateful and was super excited and still am excited, Excited to have this in my Muppet collection. After two years, he just sat on the shelf, kind of posing, not really doing much. My dad offered me the idea of opening this guy up and turning him into a puppet, which was easier said than done. Was, yeah, the wires that connect them, different stuff like this. The different wires, all the different stuffing and stuff like that, just to figure out how to get his legs to go, uh, what we needed, what we didn't need. Once we figured that out, it was pretty easy. I was able to squeeze my hand in and make him a puppet. Greetings, everyone. Greg Gonzo here. We even cut some slits in his hands for puppet rods. Puppet rods is what helps move the puppet's hands, hands, or feet at times. Decided to change out that Muppet intro suit and put him in more modern day Gonzo style clothes. They're all baby clothes from a thrift store. Yep, including the shoes. Now, being an 11 to 12 year old, I was still kind of a pretty shy kid. So, to help me get over my shyness and be able to perform a puppet character without any fear whatsoever, both of my parents suggested that I take this guy to Disneyland. This is at the time when most of my friends and family could afford an annual pass and we ourselves had the annual pass. Another great thing about this is when we got to the main gate, I didn't have to worry about being carted or stopped or anything like that because one, he was in a backpack, two, I was a kid, I was just a kid going into the park with a puppet and it turned out to help me more than I thought. I remember first taking Gonzo out and I was kind of shy to get him going. Once I had him out of the bag and on my hand and we're walking down Main Street and I have Gonzo looking around and kind of commenting on everything. People did notice that I had Gonzo and they're like, Gonzo, that's so cool. Where'd you get that? A lot of people thought that they had actually started selling these in the parks and we unfortunately had to tell a lot of people that they don't sell these in the parks. Along with taking Gonzo in the parks, I got to do a lot of cool stuff. Got to meet some uh, really cool celebrity interactions. Something got noticed by a few cast members. Got to go to the front of the line on a lot of rides. I would interact and mess with people in line. If they saw me with the puppet and started to interact, I would interact back. At this time, out here in California, also Muppet Vision 3D was still here, so it was great to always make a trip to Disney California Adventure. But Gonzo pop in and take a few photos in front of the displays and props that they had inside Muppet Vision 3D. In one part of the show, Sweetums comes out. Actual, like, life-size version. He turned around and he pointed right at Gonzo and like launched at me, kind of like almost to give him a hug. It scared the holy crud out of me, I'm not even gonna lie. The only bad side about doing this little experiment was that you would get some people come up to you would make negative comments. And also, people thought that he was Grover a lot of the time. For me being a Muppet fan, I don't know how you can get the two confused because Grover has a pink nose and Gonzo has a hose bird-like nose. At first, I thought it was an uh, interesting idea for him to bring uh, Gonzo in to the parks, but something that he wanted to do as far as to see the reaction that people would get. And if people don't know, the very first time I knew you, you were supposed to be a puppeteer, because uh, me and your mother were driving, you were talking to me, and Gonzo was looking out the window. But it's on thing. The fact that you could be totally detached from your hand and make a, a, a living thing was pretty cool. That's where everybody like, oh my God, Gonzo. Little kid that's just trying to put himself out there to just kind of like practice what the reaction would be with an audience or people. I think that's the best way to do it. But you go to different places like fairs and stuff like that, if they allow you now, if they don't, don't you know, disrespect them as far as their rules. Even there was cast members that were noticing him, but the thing is, is that they saw he was having fun and he wasn't drawing a crowd. So as long as you're not drawing a crowd to these places, don't make it as, you know, don't make it noticeable. The biggest thing is just get, get your own puppet. That's the most important thing because uh, you don't want to be, it's okay to just to be a fan and do stuff 
uh, but what you want to do is get your own puppet um, and create their own character and get comfortable with that character. For instance, Sam and all the other characters besides Gonzo, a little hesitant because you weren't getting the feedback you were with Gonzo because he's popular. Right. The biggest thing is just keep on practicing. You know, you go different places, parks and great stuff, library, whatever, and just walk around with your puppet. People think you're strange, but whatever. <laughs> During Justin's journey, he has learned one thing about trying to be a puppeteer. What is key is to create your own character and be uh, original basically and so when once you original and people will love that originality about you that you don't have to be hiding behind someone else creativity or originality does that make sense yep. so i think that basically yeah just be original and it will show and people will love what you like to do and yeah well, Gonzo taught me a lot it taught me how to create my own youtube channel it taught me how to upload videos and try out different videos, try out different things, interact with people online, which would eventually, you know, get me to the point where I am now, where I'm able to create content and produce original videos and stuff like that with Blue, Pan Pan, at the time, Sam the Ham, stuff like that. Because if I didn't start with Gonzo, I would have never gotten over my fear, I would have never stepped out of my comfort zone, and at the same time, I was able to then meet now a family friend named Kevin, who also has his own Kermit Frog Muppet replica. It inspired me to contact him and also do the same. Then we were able to cosplay together as Kermit and Gonzo and take them out into cons and really learn about improv, interviews, how does a puppet stand, where do you put the puppet, how does a puppet pose when it's listening, thank you. That was the biggest lesson I ever learned and you can't teach that in a puppet school. Looking back on it now, this was actually a really big blessing in my life. And every day I thank God for it because if my parents never had given me the idea to do this, I wouldn't have the channel I have nor the characters that I have now. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite Muppet character is and why. Please go check out the next video on the screen. I think you'll enjoy it and I'll see you over there.